what's up everybody welcome back to the channel this is a special one for y'all i am nowhere near new mexico right now i am actually up in montana um <laughs> so actually up up here <clears throat> on the invite of a buddy of mine daniel bird with who you've seen in the past video or two uh on the caldera and um he's down there fishing that little bucket right there and then we got our other homie xavier up here indigenous fly fishers uh uniting in montana <clears throat> uh, daniel is a graduate student and basically him and his partner uh, had me come up to do an event uh, for him or uh, with them in conjunction with them in sponsorship with uh, Grizzly Hackle Fly Fishing or Fly Shop and uh, Big Sky Brewing. So we're we're having a good time up here. Um, <clears throat> so basically, you know, doing demonstrations on fly fishing, fly tying, uh, indigenous knowledge in the realm of the sport uh, to other uh, graduate students. So pretty. I feel very privileged to be up here, honestly, um, and uh, have this opportunity to come back up. So for all those who don't know, I actually went to a guide training camp and program uh, just west of Missoula uh, near St. Regis. A uh, big shout out to Clark Fork River Outfitters, Don Dale. Uh, that's where I got my start with, with him. So anyway, I have a little bit of history up here, but I haven't been up in this area since about 99. <laughs> So it's been a minute. So anyway, we're on this creek and uh, bigger than rivers in New Mexico. Uh, I'm excited. So anyway, Shadow X, 10 and a half foot three weight. I got the Flash Fave, uh, <coughs> about a size 14, purple and pink bead. And then I do have the May I See You on my dropper. Uh, again, a size 14 on that one as well. So. All right, and actually these are patterns I'll be demonstrating in, in the time class that we'll be hosting. So, all right, let's give it a shot, see what's going on. We have uh, browns, cutthroat, bull trout, rainbows, I think, in this creek. So I'm excited. Come along. Let's do this. All right, I think the boys over here are running dry dropper rigs. I'm running a straight nymph rig. Just kind of run what I know, breaking this river apart, uh, looking for depressions. Uh, drop shelves anything like that within these riffles and just gritting it apart uh, covering my water as thoroughly as I can and just seeing what's home oh Daniel's got one down there and I think I know we have uh, whitefish in here too whitefish, whitefish. <laughs> Daniel's got a whitey on I remember when I was in Bozeman last spring, we were tagging a few of those guys. There's one. Little guy. What is it? Little little rainbow, I think. All right. First Montana fish. Sweet. Oh man, so nice to be out in Montana fly fishing at the same time, you know, working with fellow indigenous fly fishers um, and just, you know, working. Daniel's a graduate student in wildlife biology. And obviously our objective and goal is to bring more natives, indigenous folks into fly fishing at the same time, you know, just have that awareness and stewardship mentality, but also the indigenous knowledge of the area <clears throat> um, to aid in managing the conservation programs uh, all that stuff so it's a privilege i'm super grateful to be up here i just need to find more fish there's a 
little depression right there. Oh, that was a whitey. White fish. Let's see if we find another one. Usually though, there may be a few in one spot. And like so, there is another whitey. There you go. Nice. Looks steady. Okay, re-rigged, and actually I got double 16s uh, just to experiment with weight distribution and whatnot. Yeah, hooked a stick and broke everything off. <laughs> got brave over there. So anyway, let's uh, give this another go. Uh, there's got to be more fish sitting in here somewhere. It's nice. It's nice water. Although right here, as we get towards the middle, it gets shallower, so it accelerates. But on that far side, it does soften up a little bit. Let's see what's... <clears throat> Let's see who's sitting over there, if anybody. There's a brownie. All right. Yeah, let me hammer that. A little flash fade. Awesome. All right, we got a little back eddy over there. So along the bank, it actually runs upstream. <coughs> I'm slightly upriver of that pocket. So I can cast towards the bank and then let it drift the way it should upriver. And then let it cycle through into that out towards the main current. See if we can't pick up anybody out of there. Watch your cider and how it responds to the to the current. Especially if you're dealing with back eddies like that. And you'll see when it transitions, when it starts to rotate back into the main current. There's one. Nice. Another brown. There's a good one. Good whitey. All right. Eat the orange flash fave. Let you see him. These guys are spastic. Oh, thank you, fish. You hit that pretty good. <coughs> Brown, rainbow, white fish. Just need to find cutthroat <clears throat> and maybe a bull trout. But you're not supposed to catch the bull trout. I thought I had you guys viewing this whole time, but just got a nice whitey. Sweet. <coughs> Ate the. Uh, May I see you in a 16. All right. And that fish wasn't that far out. I was kind of covering way out there and drawing it back in a little closer. <clears throat> it's all really nice water through here. Ah, that was, that was an eat. <clears throat> wasn't ready for all right last one And stick with <laughs> to wrap up the day.
Get two calves, huh? I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna zoom in. There's cow moose and two calves. That's pretty sweet. Yo, what's up, everybody? So, moved out to a different river today. It's so day two. Had presentations all day at the University of Montana. And uh, so, got that wrapped up. And actually, uh, my host, Daniel Burr. Buddy of ours, Xavier, we came out for last hour of the day to fish. Uh, so we're on the famous Bitterroot, big river, pretty awesome looking water. So I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, come along. Let's see what we can do. Maybe find some fish. But uh, we saw a couple moose back there as we were walking up into this area. And uh, yeah, just happy to be out on the water in Montana. Just running a nymph rig, flash fave on the point, size 14, and then a, another 14 may I see you on the dropper. That might have been a hit. <clears throat> three, three middle beads on both. It's a pretty decent amount of weight. Gorgeous river. I think those were hits that I had just a moment ago. Pretty subtle though. There's a fish. That's why. Whitey. Cool. Eight to may I see you. And he's off. There's another fish. Feels like a good whitey. Oh, that was a pretty good size one. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot in here. Another one. And they're off. There's such small mouths and soft mouths. Uh, Getting them to stick can be a little tough. At least when you're trying to get all the way, get them all the way to hand and without a net. Oh, a little rainbow this time, sweet. Come here, little bow. Fish on the Bitterroot are willing to play. That's cool. This has been amazing. Ah, oh, there's a bump. Real subtle. There you go. Getting white fish. Soft, soft eats. <laughs> that was white fish. So light on the eat. I haven't even got one to hand yet. Uh, I guess the one thing I could do is downsize my nymphs, which might not be a bad thing. Let me do that. See if that changes anything. So I downsized both. They're t both two eight mil beads, size 16s. Definitely not gonna have the sink rate, but <clears throat> They'll still get down. Just wanting to see if I can hang on to the fish and get better hook sets on them. Having a lighter, smaller hook. And it doesn't really seem to be improving my hookup. Because <laughs> those two, two hits that I had that I missed. Okay, so moved up. Oh, look at that big old crayfish. He's got one claw. <laughs> Big dude. That's crazy. Should be throwing crawdads. Crayfish patterns. So moved up to where this shelf drops in. We'll give this a go in here. Oh, not really getting the same love with the lighter, smaller nymphs. There's a fish. 
whitey. Let's see if I can get this one to the net or to a hand. I don't have a net. Oh, there he is. Was Got a little closer on that one. Another one. Another whitey. Come here. Sweet. Finally got a net. Yep, smaller. You can see how small their mouths are. And they're soft. They're not super rigid. Great fish to practice on uh, for European grayling for those <coughs> wanting to compete. Oh, right there. Seems a hit. A rainbow. Come on, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. Somebody said they mellow out when you turn them upside down. Hey, it worked. <laughs> there you go. Another trout. Hey, it's a cutthroat. Nice. See the slash underneath, the fine spotting down the tail. Awesome. Finally got me a cutthroat. I think it's a west slope. Woohoo! All right. Got a rainbow. Got a whitefish. Got a cutthroat. Need a brown and a bull trout. Fish as soon as oh nice fish. Nice rainbow. Or trout. Just got in position and first cast. Hopefully you guys saw that jump. <laughs> yeah, strong fish. Come on, I'll let you go. Gorgeous rainbow. Oh yeah, pretty fish. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. Man, first cast, reposition. Got down in this little calmer, but it drops away pretty nicely. Some really great holding water in here. Um, and I got double May I see you, size 16. And <clears throat> hammered that pretty fast. There's another one. Whitey. Good whitey. <laughs> nice. Thanks, bud. Yeah, going to that smaller hook size. Increasing the hookup landing ratio. Come here. Oh, chunky white fish. <laughs> Calm down. 
Nice. Oh, again, thought I had you guys recording. Caught a nice rainbow. Really pretty rainbow. Put up a really good fight. Awesome. Nice fish. These bows in here, they fight good. They fight hard. It's been pretty nice evening. Nice way to kind of wind down, wrap up the day. It's been interesting though. The eats have been really soft. Especially for those rainbows. Not anything real aggressive a lot of times just enough of a stop for me to just lift up and get tight oh there we go that was a decent hit whitey i think i got real tight head shakes yep good size whitey yeah, that whitey has some fight. <clears throat> yeah, good whitey. Dang. Heck yeah. Oh shit. That is a big whitey. Nice. Cool. Thank you, fish. Tried to try to make a big run on me. <laughs> Another white fish. Still a good size one. Okay, hang on. Let's move down towards the bottom of the 